Hello and welcome to Triple E Tutorial. Uh, today is the day we have been all been waiting for. Okay, so as you, you can see, I have a very beautiful and simple flyer on my uh, Illustrator open here for which I designed from scratch. Okay, so being, being so as uh, so today being our first day, is we are going to design a flyer. Okay. So this is what we are going to do, design, but I just want to test your knowledge, okay, and see how creative we are, okay. So that that will tell me whenever I'm doing an, uh, a new video, then I'll know how to handle you guys, okay. So with this uh, flyer here, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to create everything from scratch, okay. But I'm just going to show you the the important things okay that you need to do and you use that tip that i will give to recreate this flyer actually you are going to create three different flyer so at the end of this video i will leave them in this video so we all know uh, the kind of flyers we are going to design okay so without much i do let's begin okay so now first some some ask how can one create artboard some also ask that how can one create a layer okay so first we have this uh, a5 side here which is landscape okay so the side is, is a 21 inches by and uh, it's 14.8 inches okay so that's the size you are seeing here Alright, so when I come onto my tools panel here and pick the uh, artboard tool here, okay, you see this uh, it's selected this thing around my mouse. So all what you need to do is, you see we have the artboard here. So we just click on the new artboard here, and it will create the same artboard for you as you can see. The same it creates, okay. Alright, now we are about to begin with our design here okay so this is the layer okay so you can see that this first one this first design here I, I i did all in on on one layer okay so if i should click this one it will be visible okay if i click it back you will see it here okay all right so this so that's how to create a layer so now without much let's I achieve this curvy rectangle shape here with just two tools. Okay, so pick it. I went in for my rectangle tool and I click half. Okay, I didn't cover all the page. Okay, I click half here. Okay, fine. So now let's give it a color. Uh, the color is blue. All right. So now, how then do you achieve this curvy? something there it's very easy but it's a new tool that i have never mentioned it in our into that introduction okay so when you pick your selection tool just come here okay under the pen tool you you have this tool here it's called a curve chart tool okay so when you click it now we want to curve this area inside so you just click just one click then you hold on shift and drag it inside okay so you automatically you, you, you have created this wonderful shape here okay how then did i achieve this red uh, line here it's very simple you hold on your um alt key then you click and drag hold on shift and drag so it will duplicate it for you okay so now we make that one red okay so after making that one red we we have to send that, that one at the back of the page so you right click then we go to arrange then we send to back so automatically we have our kelly printed okay so guys you see it's very simple all right so how then do i achieve this one is just a normal text okay no star nothing, nothing. this one also is a normal text no star is just nothing but when you look at this 30 percent here this 30 percent have some kind of effects here okay for which i really want us 
I really want to take you through how I achieve that. So I'll go in for my text too. So this time around, I want my and uh, the text to to be on another la la layer. Okay, it means that the thirty percent. I want the thirty percent to be on another layer. So if I come on the layer panel here and click create new layer, so you will realize that the two layer is, is having a red. Okay, so now the layer two is, has has been selected. So let me click and so put in my thirty percent. Okay. So the thirty percent is here, and you can see that the 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 bounding box around it is red, telling you that it's on layer two. Okay, all right. So let me change my font size to Montserrat. I use Montserrat black. Okay, so then I can I can hold the shift key on my keyboard to increase the font size, or come here and increase it. Okay, so that's how to achieve that one too as well okay so now the font color here is work i can see is black so let's change it to red okay so now we have it changed to red okay now we have this gray uh, shadow effect at the back of it okay so it's very simple you hold on out then you duplicate it okay so when you duplicate it let's change the color to gray so i'll ch i change gray here then i align both okay so i send the gray to back so arrange send to back so that's how i achieve that effect that you are seeing there okay so the, 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 this is how i achieve the effect you are seeing here okay so now let's select the main text itself okay so now we have this white outline so the outline is just the top here so first let's increase the outline width to one okay so as you can see the black have already come out but i didn't use black i used white so you choose white and automatically you realize that you have this white text around it okay let me blow it up okay so you see the effect very well all right so that's how i achieve that 30 percent that beautiful 30 percent you, you are seeing in there okay fine so now let's let's go to this i want to show you again how i achieve this shop now but anyway, okay i create from scratch okay so let me go in for my rectangle tool so you, as you can see i just like the rectangle tool so I'll click and drag. Uh, if I see the size is okay for me, uh, I think I will reduce it a little bit. Okay, I think it's okay for me. All right, so the color is black, so we change the color here to black. Now, when you pick your the selection tool, you will realize that there's some circles here. Okay, so this circle actually allows us to keep the edges okay so when you click and drag you see that the edges is being kept nicely all right so that's how I okay so now the um now i'll go in for my ellipse tool okay to create the circle that you saw in it with the white background okay so i'll choose my white color of the flow should be white then I'll just I take it inside here, okay. So I can I can hold on shift and increase the size. Okay, so I can just click. Okay, fine. Now there is some rectangle arrow in it. Okay, like this. Uh like this. Okay. So this this is the tool I used to create that. I use the pen tool. Okay. So you, you click and you hold on your shift key to give you a straight line. And you click you do the same to hold in the sheet then you close it here okay when you're about to close it leave release the shift key okay so let's treat it i think it's not that straight for me so i'll use the uh, direct edit selection tool okay to adjust it nicely so i want it to be a little bit smaller so i'll use 
okay so now you see how we achieve this one so the color there is black so i'll just drag it uh i'll drag it and put it in the black here all right so guys you see we are <laughs> achieving it okay so now i've shown you how to uh, design this app here this is just a text so for that one you can just put the text in there okay so now the next thing i want to show you is uh, this one is is just a normal text okay with this text here okay it's very simple you see that the price here is is bigger okay so let's go for the text to and quickly let's type get this laptop for just uh, 560 dollars okay so now let's reduce the size and i think the font is too big so let's use it to seven points and i can hold on shift and reduce it again and reduce all, all of them I can do. okay now, now how to achieve that big is this you double click on it okay then you highlight only the 560 okay then you increase the size that's all there's nothing magic about it okay it's just the text then you just uh, see, uh see double click to activate the text to then you highlight the one part you you highlight the amount that you want to make it big okay so so that's it that's all what is needed okay to come out with this beautiful design that you are seeing in here okay so now for the image for the image here okay when you when when you want to import image on adobe illustrator we don't call it import okay we call it place so you go to your family here then you click on place okay then you, then you locate where the image is then you click place okay when you click on place you realize that i mistakenly type so all the image size will drop on my uh, artboard and even overlap to the pasteboard as well okay so what you need to do is you need to re resize it okay so now let me show you another me method let's place another image let's place it in, 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 in it as well so i come and put the same image now i didn't click okay so i just want to click and drag so when you click on drag it will just give you the opportunity to i mean measure your own size how you want it to appear the page so when i leave it you realize that the line that i draw the image falls in within the line okay so let's get rid of the top one okay so guys this is how i achieve this beautiful design here so i've shown you the techniques that you need to know okay so you are going to design three flyers that's your assignment okay and so one you are go we're going to design a flyer for a laptop okay so it means that i want your face design to look exactly as mine okay so a flyer for a car so after that one you you, you, you can play your own magic to change the design layout or you can still use the same it's a design okay don't worry forward doing you know how to create more beautiful layers on your own okay all right so the next one is um the last one is the flyer for a fashion store okay the fashion store actually it can be a clue it can be a food it, it can be any anything wearable okay so that's your uh secluded work for today okay so i hope I hope you enjoyed this video very well and please if you don't understand any, anything in the video please just go back and watch it again or you can ask your question directly in the comment box in our google classroom okay the comments section there 
drop in any question at all you 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 have and i will be i will be pleased to answer you and i mean help you too okay so now now we can see that we have the text on layer two and you see we have our 30 percent on layer two so as we click there we see <laughs> you can see it again so that's how to uh, put your design on layers okay uh -huh. all right guys so i i just want to g give you some um tips okay but i don't want this audio to be that lengthy okay so in our next uh video i'll just i just promise you i'll just give you that tips okay and that tips also is going to i mean help you a lot in this course okay guys so see you tomorrow Thank <music> you.